Um, I like to show this chart here too because this is a, a key tenet or a key aspect of this strategy. Uh, and that's a real key focus on North America, Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Um, because there's a lot of untapped potential in this market and there's been a lot of significant investment. If you, and these are just some of what we wanted to show as key investments. They're not all investments. We have a pretty significant footprint if you look at North America in total. But the ones that stand out, I mean, look at the new investment in Salau. Uh, and that's a key part of what you're going to experience here today. Uh, the first batch of engines from this new half a billion dollar investment in this state-of-the-art facility in Salau to produce engines for the North American market. Um, you can look at Puebla, uh, a really significant plant. People don't realize the facility that we have in Puebla is the second largest production facility in the Volkswagen Group. And it is by far the largest automotive production facility in North America. Bigger than anything General Motors has, bigger than anything Toyota has, bigger than anything anybody else has and it's got a rich and deep history. And we just recently produced a 10 millionth vehicle, a nice Beetle GSR, which you'll, I don't think you're gonna drive the 10 millionth one today, but you'll drive a facsimile, a representation of that. Um, and Auburn Hills as well, I mean, I, I, I had Scott put that in there because people think, hey, you guys moved out of Detroit. No, we didn't, we completely re reinvested in the area with a $10 million capital investment. We've got a completely new campus there with 1,100 people performing a lot of the back-end functions for the group, warranty, technical support, our call center, parts and logistics. Uh, and that was just recent as well. The new headquarters that we developed in Virginia, earned in Virginia back in 2008. And a state-of-the-art facility in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where the Passat, which a car, a car you'll drive today, comes from. And there's more expansion there possible that, that you'll see in the future as well. And then if you look on the lower right, 85, the, the cars that we're producing and selling here in the market today, 85% of the content comes locally from the North American region. So, you know, I'm sorry for elaborating so long, but I think it's important to recognize all this because that's significant capital investment and commitment to this market.